This video begins the TCP and UDP sections. This is the first of six videos. This, this one is the introduction to SCAPI. There are two topics. First, how to set up a Kali Linux virtual machine, which you need to use SCAPI. And then how to use SCAPI for a very simple activity, uh, sending a ping with IP and ICMP objects. It is possible to install SCAPI on a Mac and perhaps even on Windows, but in both cases, the process is very difficult and full of bugs. So I highly recommend not wasting your time trying to get SCAPI running on those platforms and just using Kali Linux, which is a virtual machine that you need for any kind of pen testing anyway. You can download the virtual machine all ready to go from this URL at offensivesecurity.com and I recommend getting the 32-bit version. You'll see there are versions for all virtual machine software that's popular, VMware, VirtualBox, and Hyper-V. They're all 7-zip files, so download them, unzip them with 7-zip, and run them. The default username is root, and the default password is tor, root backwards. That is, of course, not very secure. You can change it if you like. Almost all activities we're going to perform take place in the terminal window. There is a graphical interface, but you don't use it much. Uh, the default colors put a black background and uh, letters on top, which I find difficult to see on many of my monitors and projection systems. So I prefer to set it to black on light yellow in the profile preferences. And let me show you how this looks. So this is VMware on a Mac. I start my virtual machine. The first thing it asks me is which kernel to boot. I just take the default and uh, then it has the usual text messages go by as portions of the operating system load. On my machine, it will load quite fast in just a few seconds. Then it launches a uh, login screen. The username is root and the password is T-O-O-R, root backwards. And now it takes a few seconds to launch the graphical desktop. All right. That's the Kali Linux desktop. Over here is the button to launch a terminal window. And I'm going to maximize that window and use Shift Control Plus a few times to make the font bigger. And once you get your machine going, it's a good idea to make sure that the internet is working. So I ping Google.com to see if it can reach the internet. And these replies tell me it can. I press Control C to stop the pinging, and then to launch Scapy, I just type Scapy. I now get some messages as Scapy loads. You'll often get two or three error messages if various portions of it don't work. And then you get greater than, greater than, greater than here, which is the typical Python prompt. So Scapy is ready to execute Python commands. So Scapy lets you build packets and send them and process the replies and control them in great detail. This activity is called packet crafting and it's very useful. Scapy is a very complete library with functions for almost every networking purpose and it knows all the common networking protocols including IP, ICMP, TCP, and UDP and many others. So we're going to first make an IP object named I. Use this command I equals capital IP open and close parentheses that will create an object named I of type IP and you can see what attributes your object had with the display command and you'll see all the elements in an IP header. It has a version number, it has a time to live, has a source and destination address, and various other parameters that are just important to us right now. And they're all filled with sensible default values. Uh, the source and destination start out pointing to the loopback address. Then you can create an ICMP object the same way. I called it IC and named it ICMP. We call this method of ICMP type. Then when you display its properties, it's much simpler than an IP object. Its type is echo request, and all the rest of the parameters are filled with sensible default values. Now, to send it, you first need to set a destination unless you wish to ping the loopback address, which we'll address in a later video. So to send a ping, first you specify the destination i.dst. I'm sending it to my server, packetplub.samsclass.info, and then you send it with sr1 i slash ic. This will not only send, but then receive one packet, one reply, and this is the packet built. 
I at layer 3, the slash separates layers, and then IC is layer 4. So this is a layer 3 IP packet going to that IP, the IP address corresponding to that domain name and an ICMP packet inside it. And then you get an answer, and the answer is summarized here. It's also an IP packet going from that remote address to my local address. And inside the IP packet is an ICMP echo reply packet. All right. And just to show you the kind of fun you can have with Scapy, the first thing we'll do that is not that obvious with normal tools is to now add data to an ICMP packet. So this will now send the IP packet containing an ICMP packet, and that will contain layer 7 data. Hello, SCP users. And when you get the reply, the reply now has a raw load at the top. Hello, SCP users. In case you didn't know this before, ping packets do contain data, and they echo back the data that is sent to them. So let's do that in Kali Linux here. Now I'm in Scapy, so I create an IP object named I with this command, and then if I display its properties, it shows me that the source and destination are currently going to the loopback address. That's not what I want. So I'll set id.dst equal to my address packet pub dot sam's class dot info. That's the domain I want to send it to. All right, now I want to have an IC object. So I call that IC. And if I look at its properties, it shows me that by default, it is an echo request object, and that's fine. So I'll send it in receive one. I, I at layer three, and I, C at layer four. Now it's going to ask me for my administrator password on the Mac, because the interface is attempting to enter promiscuous mode. All right, and after I've done that, it now sent my packet, received an answer, and as you see, here's my ICMP type echo reply answer. And the last thing I did was add more data to my packet. I can put data in here. And then when I send that, I get an answer that contains the data coming back to me. All right, so now I can launch Scapy generate packets, send them, and receive the replies.